here and welcome to my channel. In today's video I have a Chanel unboxing which normally I would be very very excited for but I actually um, already opened this item and I'm kind of disappointed in it and I will explain all the reasons to you why and you know kind of talk about the item a little bit so yeah that is why I'm not like as excited as I would be to unbox a Chanel piece. So I'm really sorry about the kind of somber note, but I am still excited to show you guys this item because I think it's something that a lot of people will like. It's just personally not for me. <laughs> Anyways, before we get to the unboxing, I just wanted to say a quick hello and welcome to anybody new who might be watching my channel. My name is Saki. I upload videos twice a week and I do monthly giveaways, so there's a lot to do in my channel. If you like these kinds of videos and if you like me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you go. All right, so let's just get into the unboxing. It's a pretty big box, so you guys will probably already know that this is a bag, which makes it even all the more sad that I don't love it. But like I said, it's probably really nothing wrong with the bag. It's just not what I was like looking for and not what I thought it was going to be. So um, yeah, but I do feel like a lot of people are still looking for this bag and I think that it's useful information and I'm really happy to be showing it to you guys for those of you who are looking for it and are still interested in it. All right, so here we go. I kind of packed it like back to the best of my ability, but I'm not as good as Chanel, so it is kind of sloppy. So here we have the dust bag. So you'll already know that it is a classic flap. All classic flaps come with this like white dust bag and the seasonal bags come with black dust bags. So here we go. Uh, I really wish that this bag worked out for me and I really wish that I loved it, but unfortunately I just don't. But I'm sorry, I'm just like totally uh, being negative right now. But let's reveal the bag. So I have to reveal to you the new Chanel 21S light pink. It's actually very stunning. It's a very, very, very beautiful piece. I think that a lot of people will really like this color, but for me, it's just not the right shade of pink. I like more, you know, baby pinks that have more of a warm orange undertone, and this one is totally like a cool undertone kind of pink. It almost looks like really lilac-y in some lights, so a lot of people are calling this the 21S Lilac Pink, but on the tag, it actually says 21S Light Pink. I will actually show you the tag inside the bag so that you guys can see like the color code and everything in case you are still looking for this bag. However, I will say it was a B to get this bag. It was very, very, very hard. Um, I actually texted my essay in Vegas a long time ago saying that I wanted this bag because I had missed out on the Rose Claire bag and I heard that they were coming out with another pink color this season for 21S so I had her put my name on the wait list and I waited a very very long time. There's actually some drama about the bag too because you know I was next in line at one point and someone just like kicked me off or like took my bag like they sold it even though my essay had already put it on hold for me and then on the day that she was off that other sales associate just came came in, swooped up the bag, so then I got bumped down the wait list, and it was just a lot of big drama, and it took several um, weeks for me to actually get the bag after that, so it was very hard to obtain, which makes it all the more disappointing that I actually don't really like it. <laughs> it's very, very, very weird. Um, anyway, so um, let's just go over the bag a little bit so that you guys, you know, can see what it looks like. So here it is. It is in caviar leather. And I do want to say that this caviar leather is different from the classic flap that I already have. Let me show you. All right, so this is the other classic flap that I have that's in caviar. But this bag is from 2004. So as you can see, the caviar grains are different. This one is like more flat. And this one is like more rounded and bumpy. I've seen a lot of seasonal bags come in this type of caviar, like my Coco Handle is this type of caviar. However, it's not like they've stopped making this type of caviar. My mom actually bought a black classic flap just last year and it still has this type of like flatter caviar leather. So I'm not sure like how they pick and choose um, like which kind of leather to use. But just for reference, I do personally prefer this type of caviar over this one. I just feel like it's more luxurious because this one just just feels like it's not like it feels cheap or anything but it just feels like more 
plasticky if that makes sense. I think it might be like the coating or whatever they use too but it just doesn't feel like as luxurious to me. But anyways everything else is pretty much you know just a normal plastic flap. It's got the double flap right here and it does come with a little felt piece. The inside is also pretty standard. I also do have the authenticity card in the back right here and then yeah other than that it's pretty much just you know your standard classic flap. It also is in champagne gold hardware so it looks silver in some lighting and then in other lighting it looks really gold but it's because it's the champagne or light gold. I'm not going to unwrap this because obviously since I don't really like the bag I do plan on reselling it um, so I want to keep it as in like pristine condition as possible but I did you know want to kind of talk to you guys about the bag in case you know people were interested. I know that a lot of people are like me as well who like a more warmer like orange toned pink so if that's the case do not buy this bag. This is definitely a more cool toned pink. What I would suggest to you guys is try to find the 21c rose clear if you can if you are looking for a classic flap because that one I've seen from pictures online I will um, leave some pictures on the screen and also like link the sellers that have these on their pages the 21c rose clear is more of a warm tone beige it's almost like more peachy in comparison to this one so in my head I thought that they would be like more similar but they're actually very totally different so if you can and you're still looking for it some resellers are still selling the 21c rose clear but I would go for that one if you are like me but if you're not this one is also really beautiful um, you know if you do love that kind of purpley to undertone this color comes in so many different things it comes in a Chanel 19 bag it comes in a whole bunch of SLGs so just letting you know now this is what the bag looks like. I will share with you the tags. Hold on, where did I put the tags? Right, so the tag is here, and this is the current retail price of a classic medium flap. And then pay attention to that um, NCO22 number because that is the color code. So if you are interested in this color, you want to tell your essay about this color code, and that's um, the color code for this specific pink and it is called light pink a lot of people have been calling it lilac pink but officially it's called light pink yeah so that was kind of like the video I don't really have much more to say about this bag so I've actually already um, like talked to someone who is thinking about buying this bag so as of right now it should have already been sold so unfortunately you won't be able to buy this bag off of me but like I said there are a lot of resellers who are you know selling this bag right now so if I do find any I will leave them in the description box below so hopefully you can find one if you want one as well and yeah thank you for watching my video I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that I was able to educate you a little bit more on this season's life pink and you know if you do like it good for you but unfortunately it's not for me but you know that's why I buy Chanel to begin with because if I don't like something or if I get sick of it or if it's not right for me I can always resell it and that's the beauty of Chanel <laughs> and all right before I go I did want to talk to you guys about April's giveaway I have a brand new giveaway this month that's super super exciting so last month I gave away a twilly from my friends Ro and Amanda and if you haven't already checked out who the winner was I will leave a link to the community post down below where I announced the winner. Now for the month of April I'm going to be giving away this handbag from Eco Susie. I talked about this handbag a couple of different times on my channel. Recently I brought it up in my vegan leather handbags video and a lot of people were interested in buying this bag however I couldn't find a link to it anymore. I think it is sold out on the website so I thought it would be fun to give it away to you guys. It's a pretty decent sized messenger bag. I feel like you can definitely use it for work as well as you know just casually it's just a really decent size and like I said in that video it's very very well made if you want to know more about it I will leave a link to that vegan leather handbag video and the other bag video that I did about it as well so if you do want to enter this month's giveaway to win this bag all you have to do is leave this emoji in the comment section down below you can comment in as many videos as you like only in the videos that I upload in April so starting with this video and all the videos continuing on please also make sure that you are leaving your Instagram username in the comment if it is different from your YouTube username. I will be picking a winner at the end of the month like always and this is just my little way of saying thank you guys for watching my videos every single week and a way for me to really show you guys how much I appreciate it. So yeah thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye! I told you I'm not yours anymore No I'm not yours So why are you Trying to hold on, to hold on When I'm not there for you Wanna take a different lane
Wanna play my own game And I don't need you here So won't you let me go Why take this ball and chain That you have put on me And throw it out the window